break treat you. Good, really well. Good to get some time off and uh, you know regroup, and now we're ready to uh, you know get back to it. What'd you do during it? I went down uh, to Durham for their game on Saturday. They played Wake Forest, and then I was just back here. I'm just getting ready for uh, second half of the season. Uh, Tib said that he kind of spent some time doing some evaluation of the team where it's at at this point. Uh, did you get a, any kind of a sense of anything new that they're trying to kind of emphasize down the stretch here? Is it kind of the same stuff that you're working on? or A little bit of the same, just cracking down on you know a little smaller details uh, as far as on the defensive end and offensive end. They're just smaller things we need to focus in on and to lock it on and improve on you know the second half of the season. So uh, we'll do that and we're ready to you know get it going again. How much do you think you and or the team will have your eye? Do you want to have your eye in that playoff spot these next seven weeks or? For sure, for sure. I mean, that's that's where our you know goal is right now is looking at that AC um, and just just working every day. You know, not not looking too far ahead, but locking in every day um, and taking it one game at a time. Um, trying to uh, you know just trying to win each game. You know, that's our focus. So, like I said, just one one game at a time, trying to win that game. One of the teams ahead of you, the Pelicans. I mean, they made a pretty big move. How how do you think that'll affect kind of? The race down the stretch here. Yeah, I mean they're they're trying to make the, the playoffs too. They're trying. They're looking at the AC as well. So, um, you know, but obviously they traded for a, a great player. But that's not something we can worry about and focus on. You know, we can only focus on you know what's you know ahead of us. And you know, right now that's Dallas. So I'm just taking it one game at a time, like I said, and you know, worrying about uh, you know the Timberwolves. What you think of all that happened while you were gone? The Cousins trade and then the Magic thing in LA with Rob going to GM and, and where does that leave you? Yeah, it's uh, crazy, you know, but, you know, it's always, you know, busy, you know, before trade deadline and, yeah, you know, Rob getting the GM job, you know, I'm really happy for him, uh, really happy for him, obviously, uh, you know, don't, you know, you don't get upset or anything like that, it's just, you know, something that he had to do, um, so, yeah, just gotta, you know, now I'm looking to, you know, find a, a different, you know, a new agent, so, uh, you know, but like I said, very happy for him, him and his family, and that's something that uh, he deserved for sure. So you're, you're a free agent now? Um, in terms of yeah, agents agent wise, yeah. <laughs> Did you were you able to talk to him much, Tyus? Have you had a conversation with him? Yeah, now? yeah. I, I talked to him um, before it came out, and uh, you know he reached out to me, um, you know, just so he was the one, you know, make sure he was the one to tell me, and, and that, you know, I didn't find out, you know, on Twitter, or, you know, a notification or anything like that. So, um, had a good conversation with him. Uh, you know, that's still someone who. Uh, you know, I'd like to say, you know, I keep in contact with him, different things like that, just because, you know, he's someone who I started my NBA career with. From what you know of him, how do you think he will do making that transition? Um, he's yeah, boy. A, a smart, about it. He's a smart, you know, basketball mind. You know, he's been around the game uh, for a long time. He played, obviously, in college. Uh, and then in terms of, you know, obviously he was Kobe's agent, so he knows the Lakers and knows, uh, you know, that organization, you know, pretty well. So, um, but... I think he's a good fit just because you know how smart you know of a basketball mind he has. So are you right now looking on your own, or do you wait to see what happens with his agency? Which is yeah, than him? first you know wait and see you know what happens with Landmark, uh, you know the agency, his late agency, um, and then just taking it slow. You know you don't rush into you know, anything like that. Uh, you know taking an agent or anything like that. So I'm just taking it slow, really. So this is a time of uncertainty for a lot of players in the league, and, and you had your name floating around in trade rumors at the beginning of the season. How does a player handle that? I guess when uh, when when your name's coming up and all that type of stuff. Just continue to you know try to get better every day, um, staying locked in, uh, focusing on uh, what you can control. I mean, obviously, uh, rumors are rumors, and um, I can't control any trade rumors or anything like that. Nobody can. Um, so you know, until I'm notified. You know, I'm, I'm a Timberwolf, so um, you know that that hasn't changed or anything like that. So you're just locked in and, and bought into everything that's going on here, and you're not worried about rumors or anything like that. You see Ricky's tweet last night: "Don't stress out over things you can't control." Mm -hmm. I did, I did, and that's, I mean, that's that's true, and that's, you know, how you gotta, you know, approach everything and look at it. Is, you know, you can't, con you can only control certain things, and that's, you know, what you gotta focus on, and that's what you gotta control. Everything else, you just, you know, can't worry about. Has you feel pretty good that you're going to be involved in playing time, kind of coming down the stretch here. I mean, with I mean Lance is hurt, Zach is hurt. It seems like you've been getting some time with Chris in the backcourt. I mean, yeah. I mean, you know, hopefully, and you know, just trying to you know do my part, help contribute any way I can. If that's playing a two, that's playing a one. You know, playing alongside Chris, um, trying to bring a, a spark and an energy off the bench. Uh, you know, that second unit. Uh, so, yeah, looking to to try to make a push down this you know home stretch of the season. Thanks a lot, Tim.